in your partnership, you're going to look at these sources. You're going to think about who wrote the source. How does that contribute to some of the meaning of what's being said? And you're going to draw three conclusions from each source. Can you kind of blame them that you were saying they were being slow? Well, he lied. Because, like, he kept saying that they were trying to go into a defensive. But you know that they really weren't going to a defensive yeah. position. They were trying to kill him. They were yeah, trying to get them to confess to something, but, like, it, it seems like they're going against what they're trying to do because he's like, so why didn't you shoot them in the first place? So who was this guy? Who's Paul Medlow? He was the, like, le less, lesser officer beneath Kelly. I approached some groups who uh, began to question what was being said and began to question why Lieutenant Kelly was saying what he was saying, that he tries to make it seem like he's some sort of hero. And I think that that's an important aspect of this in that Lieutenant Kelly did feel like he hadn't really done anything wrong in following his orders. And we quickly moved then into continuing to examine the American public's reaction by looking at Paul Conrad's political cartoon. Students participate in what's called a zoom-in inquiry, looking at a cartoon in small pieces, looking at a specific part of the cartoon and not the entire image, and revealing slowly the entire image to them thereby eliciting responses about um, more specific pieces of the cartoon to engage in some hypothesis making and think about what's coming next. Describe who you see. The U.S. conscience. It's like Uncle Sam kind of. Right, Dad. What do we think we're going to see next? Mike, you're expecting to see some things up here, all right? Well, let's find out. What new things do you see? Nothing. The top of the ditch. The top of the ditch. Kyle? It's like the top part of the ditch, and it looks like some grass on top of the ditch. Well, that's also many of the dudes in this shape. All right, so light and dark is being used. Perhaps uh, this looks like the top of the ditch. It seems like he's down quite a way. Like, just below the grassy stuff, it looks like it's sort of like two walls pretty close together, snaking off mm -hmm. that way. What was described in some of that testimony? That there might, there was a trench involved in this whole thing, right? Hmm. We might want to make sense of that. Well, let's make a hypothesis why this person is on the ground. I think that it's, it's talking about how um, the U.S. conscience, um, like, died in the Malay incident, and that um, possibly that there wasn't really morality in Vietnam or in seeing that like some loss yeah. of morality that US conscience has died here. All right, huh. Casey? I think it goes like maybe one step further and it's saying that the US soldiers actually killed the US conscience during their actions in my life since maybe who we're gonna see up here are the US so soldiers, US soldiers? Like pointing guns at the dead body. What new things do you see? Casey? Politicians um, well, there are people throwing up confetti, waving American flags, and somebody's holding up one of those like sort of protest board things. So, now, what questions do you need to ask then to get a closer, uh, get closer to the meaning of this whole cartoon? What questions, Jake? What are they really cheering for? What are they really cheering for? Who Great who question, Andrew. Who are they? Who are these people? <coughs> Good. And let's see then if we can get yeah. an answer to that. See that the U.S. consciousness is gone. They don't see what really happened at Miley. They just see this guy, you know, this lieutenant in the army who seemingly did something really patriotic and, you know, uh, killed a bunch of s stupid North Vietnamese enemy people and did, don't see that he just massacred civilians. 